All right, quick disclaimer for the Chris Massey episode. We just wanted to say um, we know that the strike is happening right now, the writers and the actors. Um, this episode was recorded before the strike um, was authorized and initiated. Um, and I know they're saying that, uh, you know, they don't want actors out here promoting their projects, which we're totally on board with. Yeah, we're standing right with you. Right. We're standing, we're standing with you guys. But, you know, we don't want to take this opportunity and this platform away from Chris promoting himself because he promoted his own music and his uh, his podcast that he's coming out with the whole entire episode. Um, so we didn't think it was right to shelve it. and, and, yeah, and can't not, shelf the yeah. boys. You know? And we tried to cut around a little bit of it, but he promotes his new project. But we're standing with SAG. Um, but we also, we're standing with Chris and we want to promote him. Um just as much, you know, as anyone else. So. Like I said, we're trying to help the actors just like Zach is trying to help the actors. You know right. what I'm saying? So we just, you know, showing the boy some love. And yeah, we're not going to shelf him. Right. Got to go. So give for him the next couple months, so you know, however this long the strike is, we're still going to be doing the podcast. We're still going to be promoting the actors and the artists themselves and not the projects they have that, um, that come out. So please enjoy this episode. It's honestly one of my favorites. I love Chris and um, enjoy. Back to the episode. <laughs> Airport buys breakfast. Buys breakfast. Day one, day one. Mike, what do we got? What do we got? Our new favorite product here. On, this, is my, this is literally my new favorite product. I know. I Plant see you made, use it this baby. morning. Plant made, baby. I slept over last night. I was in your bed and I saw you use it this morning. He was in my bed. Yeah. What do you mean by that? I got to stop making these ad reads sus because I really do want to talk to you guys about Plant Made. This stuff is the best. No matter what your hair type is, no matter your ethnicity, no matter how tall you are, I'm 6'3". Listen, they're completely vegan and they use high quality ingredients. Anyone and everyone can use Plant Made. They have genderless and ageless products for all hair types, no matter what. Black, white, fine, not really that fine. You can be anything and you can use Plant Made. I love how this stuff makes my hair feel. It's all natural and fresh. You know, the shorties, they've been rubbing in the waves a little bit lately. I don't really let that rock because, you know, the waves got to keep them nice, but they've been liking the hair, so I'm, I'm just let them You've been enjoy. growing the hair out a little bit. You think a little, little playmate's been helping it? Oh, definitely, definitely. And I'm definitely about to start going. I'm getting the fro back. The fro is coming back. I know that. I'm, I know they missed the fro. Put in the comments. You guys want the fro or not? Playmate going to help me get it, so just let me know. And on top of that, I know you're going to love this. They black and female owned. <laughs> you know how I feel about that. Now listen, this is only for the listeners of the crew, you know what I'm saying? If you don't listen to us, this ain't for you. So you guys can get 15% off using the promo code CREW at weareplantmade.com. Look, there's no minimum spend required, but this promo code cannot be used with any other promotions or offers. Listen, do we look like Tao to you? No minimum spend required, baby. We got Weareplantmade.com, 15% off. Tell them the boys sent you. Listen, go get that drizzle. Go get that do. Go get everything else. Go get everything. Get everything on the site. But don't forget to use the code Cool Baby. Back to the episode. Well, listen here. Here's the thing, man. So my boy Chris pulled up. Yes, and sir. And the first thing out of his mouth is he did a guest star on BMF. Oh, so, that was not the first thing out of my mouth. So he's on the next season Yo, of you BMF. Gotta chill. So we got to roast this motherfucker this whole episode. I, I thought we were getting just a good guy. I didn't know that this was the deal that came with it. Hey, man, y'all all part of the same family, bro. You no, know what I'm no, no, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Stars is, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's all a cloud. Love. It's a cloud. You know what I'm saying? It's a cloud. <laughs> No. <laughs> Mike, who we got in here? Let, boy, let's introduce our guest today. That's the boy Chris fucking Massey in the building. Yo, we got he Chris. pulled up on us from the A. You yes, know what sir. Saying? Hop on that flight. Yo. Quick, fast. I ain't gonna lie. He pulled up quick. <laughs> I pulled definitely up pulled up quick. quick. He hit me. I said, you know what? I'm on the way. <laughs> yeah, I'm legit. on the way, bro. Legit, bro. Like, I was like, and what's crazy is. Well, 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 um, he was on a game. He was playing Call of Duty and shit with the with the bros. Yeah, and yeah. they literally brought up the podcast they next did. day. Next yeah. day, you yep. hit him. That's yeah, it out. was it was real life, like no no bullshit. We were <clears throat> I was on duty. My boy uh, pilot and them. They was talking. Uh, my boy JB it was like, yeah, Michael Rainey, real. They was doing this and did it on the podcast. I was like, yeah, bro, they funny as hell. <clears throat> the next day. 
<laughs> I slid into the slid, DM. <laughs> <laughs> slid, he slid in my DMs like, yo, what you doing? I was like, yo, chilling. You want to be on a podcast? I was like, hell yeah. Shit, let me know. I'm on yeah, the way. Yeah. And I saw I saw he had, you know, which we'll get into. He had Zoe 102 coming out. And I was like, yeah. perfect time to plug it. Yeah. Talk about it. And I'm, dude, honestly, like, I'm a fucking big fan. Like, I grew up it, on your shit on Disney Channel. Like, I'm just a big fan. It was Nickelodeon, but you know what I'm saying? We'll nah, you did, did, you did Disney <laughs> movies, though, no? Yeah, no. I was on, like, my brother's show on That's a Raven and stuff, too. So, yeah, he's kind of right. So, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I know Zoe, Zoe 101 was Nickelodeon, yeah. but you did, I know you did, um, you did an episode of, um, uh, of That's a Raven, but what was the other one you did an episode of on Disney Channel? I did, uh, I mean, it was so, like, bro, yeah. I was, it was a lot. Yeah, like, yeah. we, me, between me and my brother, I mean, you know, we've been on both of those networks since we were, like, all 11. Over shit. 11. I want to get into all that. All over yeah. the shit. Yeah. Like, like what, what was that like? Like, how did you guys get into it? Were you already in L.A.? Like, I want to hear the whole fucking story. So, uh, really, it started uh, in Atlanta. Um, we, got an, we got an agent, this lady. It was actually kind of funny because my mom... We were in a mall one day, and this lady comes up to her. She's like, oh, my God, your kids are so cute. They should do acting. They should be on TV. And then my mom was like, all right, like, you know, whatever. They being yeah. bad as hell. All right, whatever. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, the lady gave her a card, and uh, she kind of forgot about it, didn't, you know. And then uh, we're at home one day, and my mom saw the same lady on television um, promoting something, I think, with Raven, Raven Simone. Right. Yeah. And she represented her at the time. And then my mom was like, that's the lady we met at the mall. Mm -hmm. And then was trying to find the car. Yeah, and like, yeah, yeah, like, oh, no, she legit. Yeah. Like, you know <laughs> and then, um, yeah, so then it kind of went like that. And then, um, you know, long story short, she said, you guys got to go to L.A. if you really want to pursue it and, you know, make it a a, a real thing. And uh, we went out to L.A. I was 10 years old. My brother was like 9 or 8. And, uh, yeah, we never, never left from then. Damn. You know I mean, so we've Fine. basically been living in L.A. for... Uh, twenty something years now. Wow! Did you, did you do like Oakwood apartments, like all that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know about Oakwood? Yeah. Yes. I mean, of course, yeah. bro. Yes, we did the whole Oakwood apartments. Um, yeah, all that Avalon, all yeah. that shit. Yeah. All all the actors that move out to LA, they they stay at Oakwood because they yep. do the short term leases with exactly. with um uh the furniture in there. Yep, you know. So people are like, <laughs> yeah, oh, no. we'll just go out for pilot season and yeah. then come back. And what's crazy is my dad. Um, he he set us up. He came out there, set us up for I think it was. What you said, three, it was either three or six months or mm -hmm. something like that. And my dad was like, look, if y'all don't book shit in six months, packing your shit, we're going back home to Atlanta. Like, <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, this yeah. shit. You know, it's too yeah. expensive. Like, I like the weather out here too much. <laughs> yeah. I got to book something. Yeah, you know, so, yeah. And uh, honestly, it was like, I think, like, the last month when my dad was like, he went back to Atlanta, he came back, my mom and them were like, oh, and I booked, like, a commercial that kind of gave us a little bit of, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, like, okay, okay, yeah, okay. Like, okay. Right, it's a yeah. little something. Mm -hmm. And then after that... Um, Wait, your beak a little bit? Yeah, you know <laughs> what I mean? Get a little, little paper in the yeah, pocket. Yeah. And then uh, I got a... Uh, Do you remember what commercial it was? Like, what it was for? It was a... Uh, it was either Kodak or was it, I did I did multiple that year. Yeah. I did a Kodak commercial, then a McDonald's commercial. Fire. McDonald's. And then um, something else. And then I got uh, Simba... And the uh, Lion King, the stage production. Damn. So uh, at so the you Pantages knew, so Theater. So you knew how to act young. Like, yeah, that's, so, not, that's not anything. Yeah, so I was 10 years old when I did that. Um, and, uh, yeah, I was on there. Matter of fact, the cool part is I was actually on there with uh, Chelsea Tavares, who's on All-American. She oh, played, cool. she was Nala. As, that's how I've known her since I was 10 years old. That's so crazy. she was Nala um, in The Lion King, and I was Simba. So it was like this, you know, this small little group right. there. And, and at the time, that was the thing that kept us in L.A. Right. Because I, I ended up booking that, and uh, I was there for a year. So that was every day. It was six days a week. Damn. Um, it, the only days I had off was, like, Monday or some oh, shit like damn. that. Oh, <clears> yeah, and you were that young. Well, that, yeah, well that's kind of how you got started, too, right? Someone came up to you? Literally, I was just about to say, like, yeah. damn, my story is damn near the same. I was literally <laughs> yeah. in the city with my mom walking in this What lady. is it with all these white ladies walking up to little black ladies? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck yeah. is going it's on? Like, your son is yeah. the one. Yo, literally, He's cute. Bro, like, bro, literally, we walking in the city. <laughs> we about to go get lunch or something. This lady named Gina from Generations Kids Town. She, she literally says... Your son has the face for acting. Does he act or, or model or anything? And after that, they was chopping up for a little bit. Then the week after that, we had a meeting with them. And then after yeah. that, I was booking commercials, photo yeah. shoots, and then yeah, boom. Bro. It's, it's, I mean, <laughs> but you know what, though? It's so cool, like, even to hear that with you because it's like, those are the things that, you know, because people come up, I'm sure they come up to y'all all the time, like, yo, bro, put me on, bro. Yeah, how do I yeah, How do? Yeah. I do? I'm yeah. like, bro, if you knew my story, yeah, like, you would, like, I don't know what to tell you. 
tell you. I, I couldn't tell you how to duplicate this shit. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? It just happens. It just yeah. happens, bro. And I feel like it, it but... You know, that's a blessing. I mean, you know, to be here and, like, even with y'all, man, to see y'all do, do what y'all doing is so amazing to me because, you know, obviously, you know, it, it happens differently for everybody in right. different generations. And, like, you know, because when I was young, you know, the Keenan and Kells and, yeah. and Raven and Hillary Duff and all of them were, like, you know, the OGs that we were, like, oh, shit, like, right. I want to take a picture of Hillary Duff. Right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, like, right, right, so right, it's, right. like, it's cool now when I see, like, you know, you guys doing your shit and, like, everything is changing, like, with the podcast and, and stuff like yeah. that. It's just so amazing. Appreciate so, like, that, I'm, I'm, I'm proud to say y'all y'all inspire me. Ah, hell yeah, I love, bro. Bro. That's yeah, yeah. crazy. Yeah. That's really crazy. Crazy. Looking, so, so when you were in LA, uh, who, so did did Kyle book Raven first, or were you on Zoe 101 first? Yeah. So actually, uh, I did the Lion King. Mm -hmm. um, that was for a whole year, and then right towards the end of that, um, my dad again being like, <clears throat> you know, the one who's thinking like, listen, we're not about to be out here spending a bunch of money right. in LA. <laughs> so he's like, all right. So after this Lion King thing is done, we're about to go back. And it was literally, like, divine because every single time he gave us these, like, countdowns. Yeah. So, Some like, shit would happen. Yeah, it was like, my, as soon as... Thanks, Dad. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, so as soon as the, uh, the uh, Lion King was ending, my brother booked uh, That's, uh, That's a Raven. Damn. And uh, he was, like, nine years old when they first did the pilot. And um, originally it was shot... And it was supposed to be kind of like a... Raven wasn't even the star of the show. It was this other girl who was the star of the show, and it was called Absolutely Psychic. And wow. it wasn't even... Raven's name wasn't even in the title or anything. And then they got... That. Yeah, yeah. So then they got um, they got the reviews back from the you know fans watching and all that. And they brought it back, and they switched it around, made Raven the star, and then brought my brother on as a you know full-time cast member. And then, um, <clears throat> yeah, so while he was doing that, so Raven... Towards the end, I think it was third season or something like that. Um, I was on set of That's a Raven because I used to I, I used to terrorize the set of That's a Raven, like because <laughs> I was the only kid that was there that did not have to work or right, do anything. So you was just there just I was just doing there. Anything. I, I, yeah, yeah, I enjoyed that set more than everybody else that worked there because I, I got <laughs> right. real shit. You didn't have to do anything. I didn't yeah. have to do shit. Like, Were you I doing went. set school there? Yeah. Okay. So I was doing set school, but uh, like matter of fact, I used to do school with like like they would I, I probably wasn't good, but I was doing school with, like, Raven and my brother and Orlando and, like, all these yeah. people. I would go in there, do my homework, and then, like, I would just, when I was done, I would just walk around the sets and just not even just our set. Like, I was terrorizing yeah. the whole lot. What, 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 <laughs> lot. what lot was it on? We filmed in a Hollywood Center studio. Oh, cool. That That's where, I think that's where our um, our writer's, writer's room is. Room is I think. Oh, okay. Our ghost writer's room is at Hollywood Center Oh, studios. yeah, nice. I believe so, because yeah. we went last year. It might have been that or Sunset Gower, one or the other. What else were they I filming? I think it might be Sunset Oh, man. Yeah. I, they, pff, bro, they used to film everything there. So, uh, Nick Cannon's Wild and Out, very first season was filmed there. Mm -hmm. I, I was on set of that. Um, I actually watched Beyonce's Upgrade You video being filmed live. Oh, it's so that weird. Is, it's I was just like, walking by shit. Yeah, no, I yeah. walked by and someone was like, yeah, Beyonce's in there. I was like, really? I'm walking in. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like as a kid, Let me like, go see what we're yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. now as an do. adult, I'll yeah. probably be like, oh, shit, like, you know what I mean? Like, get some access. But, like, as a kid, I'll be like, all right, yeah. Yeah. this is my lot. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Like, that kind of happened in like season six of Power. Like I was walking around the lot a little bit, and I like it was Halloween night. I was I it was like episode six oh two or something. I like stumbled upon something. I'm like. Oh shit! They're filming Joker right now. Yeah, it was like a whole scene of yeah. like when he comes out and 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 Joker comes down and the mayhem's happening. Damn. And I'm just like on the side, like, am I supposed to be here? Right yeah. now? Am Straight I in the shot? Like, there's no lockup right now. Yeah, bro. It was literally fucking Joker. I'm like, yeah. it's just crazy how like how secure it is, but also at the same time how not, not secure. secure. It is. Yeah, because it's, it's like, like once you're once on you're the in, line, yeah. Yeah. once you're in there, you could just do like you yeah. pretty much like, got an all access pass. Yeah, yeah. they're like, oh, he, he should be here. Yeah, because yeah. like he got into the lot, so he 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 must be. You walk in with confidence, you know what I mean? Like, hey, right. uh, like, where's the green room? Yeah. Uh, over there. <laughs> they gonna think you're somebody. Yeah, they gonna think you're part of some shit. Maybe he's a green room. Yo, yo, where's, where's Crafty? Yeah, where's yeah, Crafty? Sure. Let me, yeah. I, yeah. Were you just eating all the food, huh, when you're... Everything. Yeah. So, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody filmed there. What? Uh, yeah. What? Of, I would've had I got, a bowl, I literally man. got banned from their set from craft service. <laughs> Straight up. No lie. Like, from Sweet Life? Sweet Life? Yeah, he was wilding on Crafty. So, me and Raven's little brother, Blaze, we would like, like I said, we were 
you know. He sounds like a badass little kid. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bro, yeah, we used to literally go, man, and we would just pull up. We would be like, oh, they don't have anything on, on That's a Raven set. Let's go over here to Sweet Life. We go over there. Let's go over to the white yeah. set. <laughs> they got better <laughs> shit, these motherfuckers. They got all the snacks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Smuckers? Yeah. Yeah. This is bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking to take all their cup of noodles, all their shit, and then they would be oh, like, hey. cup noodles at Crafty? Oh, what? Bro, we used to go crazy. Yo, we need those at our Crafty. Hold on. <laughs> yo, if you at Crafty on our show and you watch the podcast, yo, take you notes, man. We need the cup Mandatory. noodles, bro. Yeah, yeah, no, it was really funny. We had, like, a whole situation where, like, production came down and was like, listen, Chris, you guys can't go and eat Crafty from, <laughs> from other sets. <laughs> I was like, all right, well, you know, that's cool. Like, yeah, but, yeah, it was just fun, though. As a kid, it was yeah. the most fun. And, and an, another great thing about it, too, was I learned so much. Right. Um, being behind the camera because I learned uh, how to sh film. Uh, Vance Brandon, which is one of the uh, greatest cameraman that we had, he used to film everything from every Disney show that they had, but he would actually let me shoot some of the scenes. Like, he oh, would he lit. would show me how to, you know, film some of the stuff, because yeah. uh, That's the Raven was a four-camera show. So, Dang, you know, they money. had... Yeah, so yeah. what we would do yeah, was, he would let me that's film some. He'd be like, oh, you know how to do it. So he would let me put the headset on, and I would literally be, like, some of the scenes that I actually filmed are actually in some episodes. Wow. That's where tight. I would sit there and, uh, you know, they wouldn't know because, you know, sometimes the DP is, like, kind of, like, off in Video Village, mm -hmm. and he would be like, Vance, uh, two shot left. And I'm like... Phew. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he's like, our pan right? Uh, all right, boom. And then when I was done, I would walk up and like, you didn't even know that was me, did you? He's like, what? <laughs> Vance, stop letting him shoot the camera. <laughs> that is, that is tough. Like, Was it a live audience? Yeah, so what they would film wow. Thursday would be like, you know, they would do a pre-taping, and then Friday would be a live audience. Yeah. Damn, that's different. Yeah, that's so. pretty cool. I would be shook filming in front of a live audience. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, but know, honestly, though, once you're in like, like you probably know better than me, but like, because I did a little bit of PA work on Will and Grace. Mm. Once you're in the later seasons of a show and everyone loves it, yeah. bro, you could fuck up a thousand times. They're like, yeah. dude, you're going to get it. Yeah. You're going to get it. Like, yeah. they're excited to just be there. It's so true. then it becomes like, imagine there's like what we go through, like walking down the street in New York City with power fans. Yeah. Imagine they're all just watching us film. They don't care what happens. They're oh, just yeah. excited to see it. For sure. So it becomes a little yeah. easier than like doing that a play. Yeah, that is, yeah. That is it true. is. And then like a lot of times, like he said, the audience is on your side. Right. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, even if you said something that was not funny, they're going to be busting out laughing. Right, right, you know what I mean? Right. So it's kind of like, it, it kind of like is a little bit of a gift and a curse because sometimes the audience there will laugh at anything right. because they're there. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right, so it's right. like, well, would that was work that, for the real that, audience? Yeah, yeah, like watching really at like, home? Or yeah, like, yeah. is that just because it happened here on the, at the moment? Right. <clears throat> Damn, it's but so yeah. It's different, bro. Yeah. It's yeah. a whole different type of Yeah, I mean, they could never yeah. film y'all show live. live oh, audience, yeah. Because nah. there'll be so many spoiler alerts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. People yeah, will be going yeah. home like, yeah. bro. <laughs> it's hard, too, because a lot of our, we do like, I'd say 70% on location. Yeah. So like on the streets of New York City, which basically we do a live audience anyways. Yeah, pretty much. Um, But yeah, it's definitely not. Be bugging out there. Yeah. Mike, you know what time it is, baby. You know it is a manscaped summer. Duh, so, on. ladies, actually, you know, I was going to say stop listening, but if you want to gift your man something to keep his ball nice and smooth, Get him manscaped. Yeah, okay? listen, it doesn't take much to, you know, to satisfy a man. Right, You know, doesn't. all we need is manscaped. A little head a massage, little, yeah. a little cuddle, a little manscape. And okay? some support, you know? Yeah. Just some support. And keep the toes white, but that's a personal. Thing. I like French tip personally, but, you know, do what you do. No, do, do French tip. Listen, all that to the side, it's time to tame your man. So say goodbye to your stubble trouble with Manscaped's Beard Hedger Pro Kit. The Beard Hedger Pro Kit comes with a cordless trimmer that has 20 different hair cutting lengths, all in one blade. Come on now. One guard. Plus, it's waterproof. So you could shave in the shower, in the pool, in the hot tub. You can avoid all that mess and just let it go down the drain. Why are you shaving in the pool, though? You never know. You know. We got the titanium coated T blade that's tough on your hair, but soft on the skin, though. Keep it smooth. And it brings satisfaction one stroke at a time, unlike me. Listen, we got the beard shampoo and conditioner. Come on. Shampoo and conditioner for your beard? And it's specifically designed to moisturize, reduce ingrown hairs, replace natural oils, and promote that beard health, baby. The kit also includes some beard oil, which makes that beard nice and moisturized. Listen, if I could grow a beard, I would use this product. But listen, I can't, so let's throw it on over to Michael. 
I mean, you know, it's coming. I think. I don't know. We'll see. But if it does, I'm definitely using Manscaped. Beard Hedger Pro. Come on now. So get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com. Use the promo code CREW. We're helping you out, baby. 20% off, free shipping. You know I hate paying for shipping, so we're going to give you that. Free shipping, 20% off. Use the code CREW. Come on now. Back to the episode. Yeah. But so yeah. you're you're right. Kyle got pretty famous at how old was he? Shit. The first season aired, he was ten. He was ten years old. And was it like overnight? Like when oh, that yeah. show aired? Because it was a fucking hit. That was my favorite Bro. show. That and Sweet Life were my two favorite shows. Yeah, that's why too. when he yeah. said that, I was like, Man. Yeah, that's yeah, a too. Raven no by far you. was like the crazy. like I I personally like my show was very big as far right. as what it was, <clears throat> but I don't think I've ever seen the magnitude of like that movement of just like everything was like that's a raven that like people used to <clears throat> so it's really cool because you gotta think my brother's show was like a all black cast right, right. Mm -hmm. they got one white girl mm -hmm. on yeah. the show mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. my me. show was a complete opposite, opposite. Yeah, right? literally, like, literally. Literally. all white cast <laughs> yeah. one black kid yeah. like you know what I mean so it was like it was like we had this really unique fan base within right. our family where it was like you know Sometimes, like, someone would come up and, like, someone would take a photo of me. And then, like, <laughs> I'll never forget, it was this one time, this this lady is, like, her and her kids, and, like, uh, it's, like, this white girl comes up. She's like, yo, can I get a photo with you? I'm like, yeah, I take a picture with you. She's like, she's like, what do you do? Who are you? And I was like, oh, you know, like, I don't, I'm like, oh, I'm on yeah. the show, you know, whatever. Mm. And she's like, oh, okay, never heard of it. She was like, but that's Corey Baxter right there. <laughs> Saw my brother. Yeah. It was like, flip the fuck out. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? So it was like, it, those moments always happen where it was just like, you know, you you get kind of like the, the best of both worlds. Right. You know what I mean? So right. it was really cool. Like, sometimes even my brother, I mean, you, would, I would have people come up to us like, you know, not to be like judgmental, but like right. some people be looking like straight, like goons. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? Like coming yeah. up like tats in the face, <laughs> gold grill, like... Hey, bro. They walk up. I'm like, yo, what's good? They're like, that's Corey Baxter, ain't it? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, bro. You want to get a picture with him? Like, he's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's cool. Yo, yo, bro. He said he want a picture with you, bro. Like, but it would be, it was cool because like a lot of times those people grow up watching that yeah. shit. You yeah. know, because niggas like, yo, yeah. Like one time people would tell me like, yo, they only had. Because his show came on, here's a difference too. His show came on on Disney, right. but also Saturday mornings, it came on ABC. Uh, so in the mornings, he got exactly That's so different. he would get the <clears throat> he would get the the people basically who had like free cable as well. Right. Or you know, whatever, like the free channel right, or like right, ABC right. or whatever. So he got oh, the yeah, best of both worlds where it was like, all right, you either watch it on Disney, pay cable, and if you didn't catch the episode then, you can watch Saturday mornings, right. you know, yeah. you know, when He's you're also off like, school. and don't tell anyone, but I also like Zoe 101. <laughs> 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 but keep that one DL. Yeah. <laughs> no, so I mean people, you know, I get a lot of people that watch that show too, and it's like was it? It was a wider audience, was it? Or, or was what was the difference? Mm, I wouldn't say it was a wider audience. I would say it was definitely more predominantly white. Mm -hmm. But I did get a lot of people who was like, "Bro, I always wanted to go to that school." Like, yeah, for we, sure. We just drove past that school last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Remember that? Yeah, bro. So the craziest part is like my daughter. Uh, I was just uh, putting her into this new school in Atlanta. No lie, bro. The one of the he wasn't a principal, but he's like one of the people in the school. He comes up to me and he's like. I feel like I know you from somewhere. And then this one girl asked for a photo, and he goes, did you uh, play on Zoe 101? I said, yeah. He goes, do you know I went to Pepperdine mm -hmm. because of that school? <laughs> what? I mean, because of that show, and I'm like, what? Like, what are you talking about? Like, I'm curious how many people did do that. Well, I found out later on that now they actually, if you go do a tour, that's like one of their biggest selling points. Really? Oh, school. I thought there was like the yeah, yeah. opposite. They're like, did you watch Joey 101? You're like, yeah, and they're like, you gotta go. <laughs> no, nah. no, they they definitely are like, yeah, you know, this was filmed here, this was, you know, so they kind of. That is pretty interesting, though. Yeah. Like, as, yeah. Imagine you want to tour the school, they tell you, yeah, they filmed yeah. this here. I'm I mean, because like, oh, I always said, like, if I went to any college, like, I would want to go there because it's, sure. like, the dopest campus For of sure. all time. Like, you, on Malibu, sure the beach is right there. It's crazy. Two seconds yeah, from like, there. Yeah, like, where they eat in their cafeteria is just all ocean views. Yeah. So, so, really so, what, so what was that experience like, like, filming that show? Like, how many seasons did you do? Three? No, we did uh, five. Five, 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 okay. Yeah, so... Well, I, they do, like, longer, like, more episodes, though, right? It's usually, like, yes. 30 episodes. So, uh, yeah, they did... Yeah. So, yeah. They, what they did was it was yeah. technically four... 
I think we did four technical seasons, mm-hmm. but one of the seasons we did like 23 episodes yeah. or some shit like that. Yeah. Um, but it was fun. We actually filmed during the summertime. Nice. So Dude, there you wasn't. had it made, yeah, dog. Yeah. So, like, <clears throat> and the cool part about us was, like, you guys have, where who are completely on location. So then. Um, most of the shows, the Sweet Life of Zach and Cody, the, you know, Drake and Josh, any of those shows that were kids' shows were all filmed on the soundstage. Right. Mm. So that was another reason why our show just always looked and felt different. Right, it popped mm. a little more, <clears throat> yeah. And people didn't kind of understand why. They were just like, this shit just looks so much fun. Right. right? Yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. But it was because of the that. real that environment. The real environment. Yeah. It was a real place. And, um... We actually, uh, we got kicked out of Pepperdine because of the fact that we were in the summertime, you know, there were no students there, so we could film there. Right. But without there being students there, there were summer camps and shit like that, like cheer camps right. and volleyball camps <laughs> and all this shit. So when we filmed the first season, it was like no one knew what who these people were. They're just filming some show. Then it came out. Then the second season comes around and then it's like chaos. You yeah. Know what I mean? Now it's like, the first season, yeah, like, oh, now it's like we go to the cafeteria they <laughs> and everyone's like screaming yeah. and like now we got to have like PAs and security like hurry up what do you want to eat yeah. we'll get your food go <laughs> yeah. back to the trailer yeah. you know so it kind of went from so like tight, yeah. yeah it yeah. went from like you know being like a quiet show being filmed on, on this campus to like it being pretty um, hectic and then um yeah, so then we had to go film in another location, but we filmed, we still filmed a lot of our insert shots and stuff at Pepperdine, and we just kind of filmed. Did, uh, they, did they build the, the sets and stages and Yeah, places? they built an entire set in a parking lot in Valencia. Damn. <clears throat> what a, yeah. they fucked you guys. Yeah, it was crazy. You were shooting <laughs> Malibu, Malibu with Ocean <laughs> Views, and they're like, you're so successful? Yeah. Valencia. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to go there. That sucks. Yeah, how active yeah. is Valencia? Yeah. 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 Is, is the it, temperature's it? like, 20 degrees, 30 degrees hotter than anywhere else in L.A. It's literally where your trainer said he played football. Like, right near, like, Six Flags Magic yeah, Mountain. It's, yeah. like, far out. Damn. Yeah, yeah I've been yeah. over there. That's yeah. hot. Yeah, wow. hot as fuck. In the summertime, too. Damn. Like, you they know, violated you guys. <laughs> Wait, where did you live at this time? Where, like, when you, when you, you, Kyle, you and Kyle lived together with your family? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we where lived, did you guys live? Uh, Studio City. Oh, bad. That's, like, yeah. that's the best. Yeah. So, I mean, it wasn't too bad of a drive, but it was still, like, a good 30-minute commute. Right. But it was nothing better than that 30-minute commute to Malibu versus that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, like, filming in Malibu is yeah, crazy. That's really elite. Yeah. Bro. Yeah, nah, it was, it was definitely, I think, we got the record for the, the highest uh, budget for Nickelodeon, for wow. sure, the kids' shows, because, like I said, we were completely on location. What, what was that audition process? Was it was it a lot? Was it, like, actually, like, oh, because sometimes you do something, you do, like, nine auditions, you're like, what the fuck? Then there's shit where you, like, read once, you're like, you're the guy, and you're like, oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I think I read, like, two or three times mm-hmm. for it. Um, it was uh, the old Nick on Sunset, which is not there Oh, anymore. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but that's where they filmed, like, a lot of all the old Nickelodeon stuff and the new stuff, but <clears throat> I auditioned there. Uh, they called me back, audi- auditioned again, and I think the third time is when they were like... A matter of fact, I was on the set of That's a Raven, um, wreaking havoc, <clears throat> and my mom, she was like... She, I'll never forget, I was walking through the hallway, and then she was like, Chris, you booked it. You booked it. And I was like, book what? This <laughs> is like, because, you know, at that time, you're just going out for, like, oh, mad shit. 100 yeah. different yeah. auditions mm-hmm. at a time, you know? And I'm like, oh, she's like, the Zoe thing. I'm just like, oh, okay, cool. Like, all right, about to go play basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> about to right, go cool. to the Sweet Life set and yeah. get some better fucking yeah. sacks. Yeah. Straight <laughs> up. Fucking racist motherfuckers <laughs> here at Nick and Disney. <laughs> for real, bro. Like, so, you know, as a kid, you know, you're, you're like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. But you don't really, like, think of, you like, yeah, the yeah. magnitude of what it's going to be or yeah. what it, you know? So it was how, how did you handle the, the fame stuff being so young? Like, like was it manageable? Was Did it get a little bit too much at times? Which it, oh, like, we know yeah, it does. It gets, like, it gets crazy, but... But for, that's a different level of, like, like... We, we kind of have, like, a like a cool, like, an adult fame, right? Yeah. This and that, like... Kid fame is different because Way there's different. no filter. Way so they different. see you, they're like, fuck. Yeah. Like, they don't give a fuck if you're eating. They don't give a fuck if yeah. you're know what I mean? like, like, your audience could be like, hey, yo, my man, when you done eating, hey, yo, let me holla at you. Like, yeah, yo, yeah, yeah. I want to take a flick with yeah. you. Or like, let me yo, get you my merch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let me give you a shout shirt. Shout out to those, though. Shout out to the people that let us eat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. shout out to yeah. the people that let us eat. Because there's nothing worse that you can do to actually take a picture with you while he's eating. You're about to get that steak, you're like, 
Boy, I got Somebody breathing heavy over your Somebody plate. Did. Like, yo, chill, my man. This just came out the <laughs> day. I've been waiting 30 minutes. Like, come on, bro. Like, you be a no, second, man. Straight up. Nah, <laughs> you it, could at least give him the appetizer. <laughs> came out. I'm like, fuck. But. You know, uh, honestly, I'll say this. Like, for us, it was, it was a lot, but it was manageable um, because I don't ever want to um, put it like it was too crazy for right, me. Right, right. It was always a lot, but... I, I kind of had good parents that kind of kept me grounded. Like, my dad was a Marine, takes no shit, you know what I'm saying? So, like, he was yeah. very, like, like there would be times, I'll never forget when we were younger, and uh, my dad would be like, I don't care. It could be 50 kids right here, like, I want a picture, I want a picture. My dad's like, you're going to take a picture with every last one of them. <laughs> wow. You know what I mean? And I'm just like, all right. Like, I, yeah. I, never, uh, I never combated it. It would just yeah. be like, all right, cool. And But it, it got better over time because now as an adult, it's like I, I can kind of gauge it how I need to and be right. like, all right, cool, I got you. Like, mm -hmm. you know, obviously there's times where you just got to get somewhere or some shit. You're you like, yo, I got to go here. Right. Yeah. I, I love all y'all, but, like, oh, I got to slide. But it was manageable. But <clears throat> I will say this, growing up with, like, you know, Miley and, like, yeah. that shit, like, I, that was when I realized, like, oh, this shit's different. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, because there were times where me and Miley would go to the mall and, like, go to the food court, go kick it, go hang out. And then it went to, like, that to, like, you go to the mall and that shit's getting shut down. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then that's the when you realize, like, all right, right, like, eh, yeah. my shit's not so bad. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like I, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm grateful for what the fuck I got. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, so yeah. it was, it was like, it could shit, be worse. Like, yeah. It yeah. could I mean, be crazy. It's like the levels of shit that you realize, like, okay, well, you know, I can manage this shit yeah. <laughs> a little bit. So watching Netflix without ExpressVPN is basically like buying tickets to a Drake concert, watching the opening act, and, and then, then leaving. leaving. But the opening act for this tour is Skillabang, so that is kind of fire. <laughs> but it's still not everything it could be. Well, listen, you can unblock content by using ExpressVPN. They let you change your location so you can have access to all the content across the globe, no matter where you're at. Listen, I'm not going to lie. This is... Completely serious. I watch a lot of European, Icelandic thriller crime dramas, but you only get a certain amount being here in the U.S. When I was over in Europe last year, I saw so many more different options. I was like, this is incredible. But with ExpressVPN, you can get access to all these titles no matter where you are. You could be in Jupiter. I don't know if, I don't know if it'll reach Jupiter, but... Bro, Actually, bro, you know, bro, don't doubt ExpressVPN. All right, dude. You're not I, doing I, it. I, You're I not don't doing know, it. bro. I haven't I been know, in Jupiter. I, bro, I had this for a minute now. I told you. You I been brought, in Jupiter? Yes, bro. I was in Jupiter with the ExpressVPN. It reached, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, it was working, bro. All you got to do is tap one button, refresh the page, and then all the content is there. Yeah. Listen, I choose ExpressVPN because it's literally the best VPN service out there. It's better than them all. You know, you could watch HD, no buffering. Bro, and I know you being in the crib with Twitch on, playing music, with, you know, uh, uh, Netflix on. Everything. And it all just runs fast with ExpressVPN. I'm trying to tell you. Listen, be smart. We're not paying full price for these streaming services, and they're only giving us half of the content that they got on there. Come on now. Get with ExpressVPN. Listen, I was sold when I was told that ExpressVPN completely, like, hides what you're looking up because... <laughs> yeah, you need some sketchy stuff. Yeah, you need that. But you're telling me that I get more titles, European titles, on Netflix and I can watch it all from America? Yeah. <laughs> I'm in! Listen, get your money's worth at expressvpn.com slash coupon. So don't forget to use the boys link, expressvpn.com slash coupon, for an extra three months free. What is it again, Mike? expressvpn.com slash coupon, baby. Go get that three free months. Come on now. Back to the episode. Boom. So did you, you did a lot of like the Disney Channel games and you do kind of stuff. So like what, what was the mesh of like everyone together like? I'm going to tell you something, bro. I'm so glad you brought that up. The Disney Channel games. So I was never a part of the Disney Channel games because uh -huh. my brother, you know, he was you, a part you of You definitely it. did it though, no? No, but I was always there. Listen, and I'm going to tell you. I watch all that shit. Listen, I, I I'm going to tell you, bro. You, you, were in a, you were on the green team at one point. No, don't fucking lie to me, dog. No, <laughs> but I think I might have for sure been in some of the clips because right. I was with my brother and right. shit, but like. But they're like, we're not going to promote his shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That Nickelodeon Disney yeah. shit was real then. Oh, yeah, I was beefing. Oh, it was real. Like, it was real. Like, it was there would smoke. be times where I would come on the set when my show was popping, and I would come on, uh, you know, his show, and It'd the producers would be like, can you, like, they would go tell my mom and dad, like, could you tell Chris to, like, not go 
up near the audience because they're screaming Zoe 101 and they're <laughs> screaming like it wow. was like weird like you know fucking up their emotions man yeah, they're like yo chill yeah. like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no but the Disney Channel games man I will forever say that was the most fun yeah. that I ever experienced because you got literally every single person on Disney would be there. You know, you got the Jonas Brothers, the Miley's, the, you know, Hannah Montana cast, the right. That's Her Raven cast, everyone there. But that was the fun for them because they all got to do all this fun shit, right? But the, the greatest part about that was all of us, for however long we were there, I think we would do like two weeks or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. For however long we were there, we got to go to Disney World, every park, ride every ride, Every day, all day, as long as we wanted to. If we didn't want to get off, we did not have to get off. Like it was, And you had, like, a person walk you to the yes, front, right? Like, so we could be That's like, a dream. literally, bro, like, and, and it's fucked up Yo. now because now, now I'm an adult. What the yeah. fuck, son? Yeah. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, no, straight up, bro. Like, we would go and, and like, Dylan and Cole, I'll never, that, so me and Dylan and Cole, so every uh, person would have their own tour guide. So, like, let's say, like, Dylan and Nicole would have their own tour guide that could take them wherever they want to go. My brother and I would have our our own, you know, Raven would have her own, everyone, right? But what we would do is we would all, like, link up. Mm-hmm. So now you got, like, four four or five tour guys per, like, whatever, nine people or eight people. <laughs> right. It's and we're just bogarting shit. Heavy. Like, I mean, straight up, like... They could not hear me. <laughs> bro, we literally, to this day, I know we have, we still have the record. There's no way. Me, Dylan, Cole, and Kyle have the record for... Uh, Expedition Everest, they had just opened the ride. And we literally did not get off the ride for like four hours. <laughs> like straight up, no lie. Like, like <laughs> people were waiting in line and we're just like, nah, bro, like, we gotta ride this shit again. <laughs> I'm like, this shit just dropped. It was like a brand new ride. Like, nah, we're gonna nah, keep this going. This shit just dropped, bro. We're not getting <laughs> like this shit. Bro, and I'm gonna tell you, it was the most fun we ever had, bro. And, and now that I have kids, yeah, it's fucked fun. up because I'm like, I gotta pay for this shit. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we can't do this no more. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, yeah, we're yeah. gonna get the fast pass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You gotta yeah. get your ass. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, damn, I need another fucking Disney yeah. show. Bro. Yeah. Literally, I'm like, yo, which one of y'all wanna be on Disney Channel? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I could do this shit all day. Um, they're, I mean, not right now. They're yeah. still kind of young, but um, uh, I think Mariah, my oldest, she wants to. It's so funny, bro. You know, it's so crazy. It's like, <laughs> I. As a kid, like I used to always want to be like in the sand lot, or like yeah, yeah, I like yeah. I watch those movies. I'm like yeah. I want to do this shit, you know. But like my daughter, like they're it's different. They're like I want to be a YouTuber. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. Yeah. I'm yeah. like what? Like, oh, no, because bro, bro, that, bro that space is crazy, it's bro. Crazy. They got niggas signing an 800 million, like yeah. two, 300 million dollar Straight contract, up, bro. bro. I, I showed her. I, I pointed out a car the She's other day fine. to my daughter. I said, Yo, I said I think Daddy's gonna get that car. It was like a Ferrari or some shit. And my daughter's like, It looks like a YouTuber car. I'm like, yo, oh, yo. Oh, I was like, yo, you gotta chill. Yeah. Yeah. You know, time's yeah. You gotta chill, right? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta relax. If, like, what's it, if Enzo Ferrari, the guy yeah. who invented Ferrari, heard that, he would He's roll like, yeah. in He'd be like, what? Yeah, like, nah, he, straight up, bro. Now, don't let Ferrari see this. They're not gonna, let, they're not gonna sell you a car. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's how strict they are, bro. Yeah, bro, it was crazy. It's yeah. like, but you you know how, how the times change. That is crazy, I mean, it's just like, they look at it like, yeah. Or like like the gamers. Yeah, yeah. I mean, imagine how many times Bro, when I was a kid, my mom and dad be like, "You ain't gonna ever make no money playing a video game." I'm like, oh, that's cap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cap is fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no so, yeah. Look at that girl I follow on OnlyFans. She makes a lot of yeah. money. Yeah, straight up, like, <laughs> motherfucker, put, making Fortnite one like what five yeah. million? Oh, yeah, yeah. Fortnite bro, tournament. Ninja, nah, Ninja, bro, Ninja. Oh, Ninja's going he, crazy. Yo, he's like, he kind of like, not he. I don't want to say he started, but he definitely created that lane for like Fortnite and really like, yeah, bro. He made yeah. a lot of other people believe that you could really make this money. On Hell yeah, bro, he made yeah. so. Bread. So much bread. He's still talking two, three still a month off yeah, of playing I watched Fortnite. the thing where T Pain said he makes more money off of his Twitch than he ever did in music. That's crazy. Shout out T Pain. We just met him. And I was day. like, <laughs> yo, that's insane. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's it's true. It's like this this these new streams of income is crazy. Are just like, you know, you can never predict something like this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like who in who 20 years ago would have ever been able to tell someone like, yo, I'm gonna make 15 million. You know, just playing Call of Duty. Yeah. Or, you know what yeah. I mean? Bro, like, I, like, when I first discovered YouTube, I was, what, like, seven, six years old? Yeah. I never thought yeah. YouTube would ever start paying people. Yeah. yeah. Paying yeah. people at this rate, too. Like, yeah. I'm like yeah. yo, this is crazy. Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah, it's a blessing, wild. though. It's a blessing, though. Shout out to everybody blessing. grinding, man. <laughs> yeah, y'all, y'all gonna be there soon. Y'all, make sure y'all give me a Ferrari, too, man. When yeah, y'all I got, got you, bro. When y'all, <laughs> y'all sign y'all 800 million. <laughs> <laughs> we got you, yeah. We got you, I'm gonna be like, yo, I know them dudes, bro. Remember we did the episode, the podcast, I told you, I'm 
I'm gonna need that Ferrari. I'm off you. <laughs> Yo, Mike, how much did you spend at Catch Steak the other night? Be honest. Like 26, 25. It was because of the drinks, though. Dude, $2,500. That yeah, was me, some of the bros, you know, a few, you know, a few vibes, whatever. So Bro, like, that's ridiculous. You gotta, I gotta tap you in with HelloFresh. HelloFresh. That's the, that's the drink that be like delivering the good food and stuff, right? Yes, bro. It's like easy deliver. to cook, you know, like stuff like that. Farm to table, right to your crib. Come on, what's up? Talk to me. I, I gotta get, I gotta get put up on game. Bro, did you know that HelloFresh has chef crafted seasonal recipes that are delivered right to your door? They deliver the vibes and they deliver the flavor right to your front door. I'm jacking that. I might have to get right. Bro, you don't have to go to any restaurant or anything. This is going to be the hangout. You just got the new crib, right? Yeah, I got the new crib. Bro, you know that's going to be the hangout spot. Cook up, save some bread, have some fun. You got the vibes of the crib, you know? That's the way to do it. So they're going to be they gonna be messing with the HelloFresh. Yes, bro. It's that good. Because yeah, you know they be bougie. You know the shorts be bougie. Right, but I know I've gone to your crib sometimes, and I see the girls chefing it up, but they don't have the farm fresh ingredients that HelloFresh has. All right, so you're telling me they're going to get me the options when I want, and they're going to make it easy to chef it up. Yep, it's not just the same old thing. You know how sometimes you get groceries, it's the same stuff, you're cooking the same thing. They give you an option. You get to choose on what you want. Fire. So I need like a new, like a you know, new recipe every day. Every day. Or maybe like two, three new recipes. I might just eat this breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Good. You could. It's up just, to you. I That's the best part that. about HelloFresh is it's up to you. You get to go online. You get to pick your recipes. You get to pick what you want to eat, and they deliver right to your door. Listen, man. When I need dinner fast, I ain't calling no the food delivery, you know, pick up service, all that service nothing. charge, nothing. I'm not calling no food delivery service no more. Who are you calling? I'm going HelloFresh. <laughs> He's going HelloFresh. I'm going HelloFresh. I mean, that's the best way to go. Their fast and fresh recipes are ready in just 15 minutes or less. 15 minutes? 15 minutes. Hmm. I'm taking it that HelloFresh is 25% cheaper than... Okay, well, yeah, for the average person, I, I would say that it's 25% cheaper. But for you, it's probably about 700% cheaper because you're spending three bands of catch steak every night. I mean, yeah, that's true. So, listen, HelloFresh, 25% cheaper, 700% cheaper for me. Yeah. <laughs> Go do your thing. So go to HelloFresh.com slash Crew50 and use the promo code Crew50 for 50% off and free shipping. Come on. That's HelloFresh.com slash Crew50 and don't forget to use that code Crew50, baby. Free shipping, 50% off? Easy. HelloFresh. Back, back to the episode. To the episode. So, so obviously when you were, when you were coming up, I've heard all the stories because I've lived in L.A. since I was 19, but I was struggling until I was, like, 23, 24. And then once I, like, really started making bread and, like, made it, I've been in New York shooting. So I, mm -hmm. I haven't spent a lot of time in L.A., but, like, you hear all the stories of, like, the Disney kids wilding out, like, this and that. Yeah. Like, like, was it crazy? Like what, was, like, what was it like when you, like, you were, you guys had it all. You were running around Hollywood. Like, what was that like? It was crazy. That's too much fun. It was crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Paige is probably going to be... <laughs> She's probably she'll probably be okay with this. Not Paige. But Paige, what's up, Paige? Paige, who's on you guys? Yeah, show. what is Paige doing the pod? Like, what's yeah, like, everyone's, what's like, up, everyone's like, when's Lauren? When's Paige coming on? We're like, you ask her. <laughs> she was just texting her today. Yeah. <laughs> so look, the craziest. Uh, this is a really funny story with us. Um, so, Paige, like, I used to have this house in Beverly Hills. Like, me and my brother, it was like a full fledged like party crib. Like, everyone knew you could come there, have fun, hang out, whatever, right? So, oh, Paige so was always, you know, she's Paige. Yeah. So, so, Paige was always, like, <clears throat> I always put her in charge of, like, the night. Yep. Basically, because I'd be like, yo. She'd be having every day. Yeah, 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 she's gonna, she's she's gonna make sure, like, who needs to be here needs to be here, yep. who's not gets the fuck out. Yep. Like, so, like, <laughs> that's why I always love Paige. I'm yep. like, Paige, she knows. She's Queen P for life, you know? So, a funny story is, um, there was this club called Level 3. Shout out to Dave, Level 3. Um, so it was a... The club was, like, 18 and over. It was, like, one of those kind of clubs. Right. So it was, like, my brother, um, like, Paige, uh, Co uh, Kofi, who's, like, on yep. Queen Sugar, mm -hmm. like, all these people. So a lot of them were, like... I, I think I had just turned 21, and a lot of them were, like, 19, 20, 19. So it's, like, they can't really go to a real club. Right. <clears throat> so... We used to go to this spot, and um, <laughs> and I got a call one day because it was it was a it was really funny. We we go there, we're like drinking, like I'm like 
I bought like I don't even know how many bottles, right? Or whatever, some shit. Nah, he was really that's crazy. So, He's like, did you say I'm buying everyone bottles? Yeah, yeah, like, that's, that's dope. Now, granted, this is like start. 18 and over club, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, I'm. But when you're like, you've been going there since you were 18, so you just feel like, oh, this yeah, is the spot. Right, right, this is right, right, right. Like, I what the fuck I want. Yeah, yeah, like, I, I, I felt like I know the owner. Like he was like the spot where I could be like, oh yeah, they were me. They're good. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, yeah, like I swear out that was super cool. So like we get there and um. Paige, uh, I'll never forget, it was this one moment. Like, she wasn't even drinking, right? right? But uh, we used to, this was very reckless. I don't suggest anyone do this, but we used to buy champagne bottles and just spray them. And right? not drink them. Yeah, yeah, just not drink yeah. them. Just spray them in the club, right? Yeah. So there's a, there was literally the <laughs> infamous, there's an infamous photo of Paige. It's me. First off, it's like, it's so funny because it's like a timeline photo. It's like, you see the bottle in my hand, yeah. then you see me hand the bottle to Paige, and then you see me like open it, and then you see Paige like spray the bottle. It's like flick, 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 <laughs> flick, flick, right? Whoever this photographer was is like on it. He went crazy. So like, the photo goes viral. This is like, media takeout. I don't even think uh, Instagram was even invented right. at this time. That's <laughs> yeah, how old no, we are. definitely not because, right? yeah. So media takeout, they're like, um, uh, Paige Heard from Everybody Hates Chris is 19 with a bottle of uh, uh, oh, liquor in her hand, right? Damn. Blood. So I'm like, oh shit. So here's the thing. <laughs> this is how I found out. I didn't even see the post. The owner of the club calls me. He's like, what are you guys doing? He's like, Fucking sheriffs have been here all day <laughs> trying to shut me down. <laughs> he's like, he's like, you got people popping champagne. She literally has the X's on her hands that says that she can't drink. Yeah. <laughs> She's holding the bottle. Yeah. So he literally like, he got fined like crazy money that day and like, but yeah, that was like one of the funny kind of kids walling yeah. out uh, <laughs> because yeah, our, our our parents and everything like it was weird. It was like we all had to like. <laughs> Talk well, Paige wasn't drinking. Yeah, and then I was like, we just spraying the bottle. Yeah, they're trying to justify like, well, she was just spraying it. I mean, we don't have a picture of her drinking it. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah, she wasn't. Like, yeah. I mean, it was reckless as hell, but you know, it was right. just what it was. It was fun. <laughs> you know I mean? Did you wild out and buy any like? Did you guys buy any crazy cars at the moment or like? Dude, a crib in Beverly Hills at 21, I'd be dead, dude. Yeah, was, I would not be here. It was, it was, uh, it was, That's it was tough. crazy. Yeah, so like, I mean, everyone would be, you know, would be there. Like, it's kind of cool because we all have those, like, memories. We kind of talk about it, and we kind of, like, all together. Like, bro, remember that time we did this? But I think um, I think it was good because it kind of <clears throat> also gave all of us a time to, to experience that and experience, like, kind of like the, the party and shit pretty right. young to where, like, now when we get, you know, at our ages now, we can kind of handle right. shit a lot yeah. more. You right. know what I mean? Because I... I do feel like sometimes it is kind of necessary to nip that shit in the bud early. For sure. You know what I mean? Because I would feel like if I was doing the same shit that I was doing then, now, it would just be all bad. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Bro, like, I, I think of the dickhead shit that I did when I was like 12 to up until maybe 17, 18. If you gave me fame and millions of dollars, money, yeah. like like if you think about how a lot of like like your brother like and he was in like with Bieber and all those guys yeah. hanging out, they ha like they handled themselves so well. Yeah. What was the worst thing they did? They threw eggs and they street raced. Yeah. <laughs> we're yeah. doing that we now. Do that now. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, bro, I'll never forget that day, bro. Yeah, my brother was there for that one. That was crazy. Yeah, that but was but it's crazy. like if you think about it, like they handled. I forgot who said this. I think it was Colin Farrell even brought this up on like a Hollywood Reporter like big podcast. Yeah. They handled themselves very well compared yeah. to speaking. Like I was a, di I was breaking shit. I was doing crazy shit. Yeah, you know, vandalizing stuff when I was young. <laughs> if you gave me five million dollars, yeah. fame and a house in Beverly Hills, yeah. like I'd have done a lot worse. And, you know what? Yeah. and it's, it's cool too because I tell people all the time, right? Like, and I'm sure you guys can attest to this. Is like people will tell you all the time, like, oh, if I if I had this money, I would have did this, this, this. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't have. This, you can't I, say what you would have done because exactly. you ain't have it. You don't like, have. Yeah. It's like you you know. It's like Certain people like I, I've, it is so funny too because now, it, being in this you know industry as long as I have, I've seen some of the people who've said the things that they would do, 
do the complete opposite. To, yeah, come right. into money and watch the complete opposite team. Right. And you're like, oh, and then I'll see that I'm like, oh, did you um build that fucking orphanage and fucking, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, over there? And, yeah. uh, <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? That you told me you were yeah. going to build? Because it looks you like know. you were at Bootsy Bellows. Yeah, exactly. Like, no, you didn't. You fucking yeah. built, you bought a damn brand new uh, fucking Bentley. You yeah. Know what yeah. Mean? yeah. What, what's that Tesla you got in your driveway, yeah. Mark? Yeah. 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 But, it's, but I think it's like, it's all about growing, you know? Yeah. And, For and, sure. And, and learning through experience. And learning. Right. Because it's like, you know, you guys now, you know, the platform you have here and the the mega fucking show that you guys are on, it's like, it's only gonna, you're gonna go on to do other things, right. bigger things, different things, right? So, <clears throat> this will, like, and I'm, 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 this is me being the OG right now. Right, I'm right, saying right, this yeah, shit please. to y'all, right? I, you guys gotta always remember to own and enjoy every fucking moment that's right now. Yeah. Right? Because, yeah. You know, in the future, you're gonna be looking back on like, bro, remember when we had the fucking podcast? And yeah. We first started out and we were doing yeah. this. Oh, you're making me sad, bro. I don't no, want the podcast no, to end. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, I'm not saying it's gonna <laughs> end. I'm just but fuck, you might, you know, shit. Ten years from now, you're like on yeah. fucking so ABC with this shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It could be anything, right? But my thing is, or not, no stars. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> <laughs> but, but my thing is, um, you know, I was taught that from people that were kind of older. Over, older than us that was like you know make sure you enjoy this shit because you know it's all gonna change shit's gonna change around you and then you always wanna keep the fun in everything that you For do sure. right mm-hmm. because those are the memories that I learned last the longest right you know like when people come up to me like like Paige or Chelsea or, or like or Kofi you know who's on Queen Sugar these guys like we, we created memories together, right. right? So it's like, no matter what, I don't care how big, like, it's funny, like, I was just talking about this, but even, like, with Miley, right? Mm-hmm. Like, people are going to go on, they're going to do great things, and, like, you root for them or you cheer for them and you might see them in passing. You might, you might reconnect with them in the future. But the cool thing is, when you create these moments and shit with people, it lasts forever. Right. You know what I mean? It's like, no matter what. That shit lives forever. It lives for forever. And it's like, you know, sometimes people come up to me and they're like, bro, I had the greatest time at your house one time when you did this and that. I'm like, bro, I don't even remember that moment. But yeah. you're bringing it back to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because I, it's like, that moment meant so much to you. Yeah. And then it comes back and it's like, you know, it's, it's, so, it's so amazing the things that you can do when... You know, when the eyes are on you. Because yeah. right now, you, the eyes are on you. For sure. You, guys, you got the spotlight on you guys. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and I'm, I'm not the person to say it's not going to always be there, because I, I hate when people say that. Right. But <clears throat> just always cherish and enjoy it when it's, like, shining bright as fuck. For sure. Right. You know what For I mean? Sure. Appreciate that. Appreciate yeah. it, Appreciate you know? It. Sure. Who was kind of one of your mentors Damn, when you were... Um, back. He was in Houston. We saw my guy Makai. He was in the strip club. He was yeah. on the stage. He was getting busy. He was like, "I was like, damn, look at Makai." Yeah, yeah. you know Makai, right? From um, what what show was he on before Kanan? He plays that, that's Makai. Oh right yeah, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what what he was on a Disney show at, at or a Disney XD show? I think. Oh, uh, see, that was a little bit out of my yeah. yeah I like once we got to XD, I was like. I was in the club and shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 I was doing reckless things. Yeah. <laughs> I give shorts now. That's fine. You like my shorts? I like your pants. I like your shorts though. Say thanks. Dude, I'll fucking kiss you right now. I don't think it calls for that. I was just saying your shorts. <laughs> He's are, just saying your shorts right, are yeah. nice. Dude, I just thought I don't know. I thought this was going somewhere else. So listen, you know I got the legs out, baby. You know, I can show the little tats a little bit. We got the bird dogs on today. Bird dogs, baby. I know, these are probably one of the most comfortable pair of joggers I've ever put on. And they got the built-in, like, you know, little underwears on yeah, there. I've never the seen the, the joggers with the built-in underwear with the Fire. compression. I've seen the shorts with the compression under, but the joggers with the compression is tough. It's tough. You know, it kind of went left in the beginning, but um, I'm going to say the thighs are looking pretty sculpted, bro. I don't even know why. Listen, the bird dogs got you covered, okay? They have a nice little sleek look to make your thighs, your legs, your little bottom over there look sculpted. Listen, man, regular shorts or pants are like, it's just like, they're like restrictive. You can't even like, you know, the bowls don't get no breathing room. You can't run correctly. It's weird, you know? But the bird dogs got that stretch. They lightweight. Okay. All right. So bird dogs fix this issue by inventing the cloud knit fabric that makes you stretch and sway and do whatever you need to do to get ready for the day. And they also use an anti-stink sweat wicking fabric that keeps you cool and odorless all day. So if you go to birddogs.com slash crew and use the promo code crew, you get this free Yeti-style tumbler with your order. Listen, 
You ain't going to take the bird dogs off, I promise Wait, you Wait, but that. what if I get a fire shorty over? Can I take them off? No? You doing the bird dogs. <laughs> Who was uh, one of your like m like mentors like when you were coming up, or did you have one? Did you not have one? Was was there someone kind of like bringing you along to be like, do this, don't do that? Uh, I mean, it was a lot of people, honestly. Um, it was a lot of people. Like, I, I think uh, another uh, person, I think, who really kind of he was a, a light as far as me learning like what to do and what not to do, and kind of keeping my nose clean from a lot of the bullshit, um, was uh, Keenan Thompson. Oh, nice. So, yeah. We know Keenan very well. Yeah, okay, so yeah, it, nice. was a, it was a, and, and it was weird because I was such a fan right. that I only was with him a few different times. Mm -hmm. One time it was like a celebrity uh, basketball event or some mm -hmm. shit like that, and we were there for a few days, and I got to hang out with him and like talk to him. And then another time was he came to the set of Zoe. When uh, uh, our producer brought him on set to just talk to us, <clears throat> and he talked to me personally, like you know, he talked to the cast, but then he kind of talked to me, like, "Yo, man, like, you know, just, you know, it's it's a different set of eyes on you. You gotta right, like right. make sure you keep your shit, right. you know, together." Especially, and, honestly, like being black in the industry exactly. at that time, yep. like. There were a lot of kids that got away with a lot of shit, but then, yeah. like, you do some shit, it's like, ah, fuck that guy. Yeah, man, and 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 the thing was, like, always just being a good person. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because For sure. at the being end of the day, your character man. can outshadow all of the bullshit and negativity <laughs> right. that people can try to portray you right. as. Right. You know what I mean? Because you, you might meet someone that's like, Oh, bro, I tried to take a picture with Mike Rainey. He said he had to go. He was busy. Right. Fuck that nigga. Mm -hmm. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, straight up. And yeah. here's the thing. That one person could tell him that, him that, him that. And then, and that then they're going to believe him. And then they're going to be like, like, oh, bro, I heard he's he's a dickhead. Right. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. it's like, nah. Bro, like, that literally just happened with Jonathan Majors. I was <laughs> on set yesterday. And, and the lady next to us was like, I worked with him on four projects. He's the nicest guy ever. And someone else on set was like, well, he, like he was a dickhead. And she, they were like kind of arguing. Like, well, he, like, for me and everyone I know said he, I was like, yeah. I don't know who to believe. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But it's all it's all perspective, right. right? So it's like you you make sure your character, the bottom line, is always likable and when people can just, you know, you're not going to get along with everybody. That's right, just right. fucking life. Right, you know what I mean? For like, sure. to, but it's the more you can just, you know, let your character bleed through. I mean, because even with like this thing, right? So we're, I'm going to jump to the Zoe shit, right? Right. Yeah, I literally wanted to get to that next. Yeah, yeah. so like with the Zoe uh, thing, um, it was just amazing that something so long ago, right, the fans are just yeah. still pressing for this. Like, Me too. Yeah, right? I was tweeting about it. I was like, when, <laughs> when, that, when, that, uh, when the shit came out, uh, you guys did like a special like four years ago or five years ago yeah. of the time capsule. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, I wanted you to talk about that and then I want, sorry, go on about the thing. No, I'm sorry, no. I'm just excited. I'm a fan, <laughs> dude. <laughs> no, so it's like with that, it's like even... Um, you know, full circle, the the crew and the cast, and when we got back together, um, the cool part about it was seeing how everyone is still like the same right. in their in their own way. You know, and and it's like they're unique in their own way, and then you kind of remember like, damn, you still do that shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or like, you still because like <laughs> it's like one uh, Aaron who plays like Quinn, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's like the like literally the most loving, like sweetest person, but she's very like. Since we were young, she's always been very like huggy, very like she she just loves contact, right. right? Right. So it's just like the funniest thing. Like one time we're like we're all on set. No, we're we're back at the the um, the rooms or whatever, and like she literally was just like, "Can I put my feet on you? Mm -hmm. Can I put my head on you?" Like mm -hmm. right. And so, so we're all sitting there. I'm like, and we all just bust out laughing. We're like. You're still the same person yeah, yeah, yeah. that you were yeah, like yeah, yeah, when yeah, you yeah, were like yeah. a fucking 14, 13. Yeah. Like it's the exact same person. Like yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah. And, and so for me, it's so like that's fine. Yeah, because you know it would have been honestly like when we filmed that, it would have been weird mm -hmm. to come back and one person's like on some like Hollywood shit or yeah, one person yeah, on some like weird. And you're like right. yo, like what what's up with him? Like, yeah, 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 you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. Like who's the guy that plays uh, uh, Logan? What's his name? Oh Matt. Pulls Matt, up yeah. in like shades. He's like what's up guys? <laughs> <laughs> like, what are we doing today? I didn't even read oh, the sign. I got a hard out at two. <laughs> yeah. so, so, let's hard get this. Hard out at two. <laughs> let's beat this shit up. <laughs> <laughs> Can we shoot now? Like yeah. we, do we really got to rehearse? Like <laughs> we're professionals here. Like let's shoot. Yeah, no. But actually, a funny story about him. 
because you guys said you guys be racing this shit, right? So yeah. I, I'm gonna let this be known now. Well, because... it's it's, uh, we it's on a close course, a close course, on a close course, close course. Yeah, 65 miles with, an with hour. professionals around. Yep. Yep. <laughs> um, but no, so it, it, that's a. I'm gonna go. I'm kind of going back and forth. But me and him had a, a thing. He had just bought a brand new BMW. We were filming. Um, we were filming uh, Zoe. Uh, this one we were filming in Valencia. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> he he bought a brand new BMW. And I had had my girlfriend at the time on set, so I'm like, I'm feeling like real cool, you feel me? So yeah. he's he's pulling up in his Beamer, and <laughs> grant you, neither one of us had a driver's license, okay? <laughs> so he had his learner's permit. Right. I had, oh, I, I didn't have days, anything, I, I think. Days, oh, I think I had a learner's permit, too. Yeah. So, but he's in his car by himself, right? And so grant you, so cool. fucking video, I mean, um, base camp is here. Yeah. Where we film is, like, not even, like, I wouldn't even say like a thousand feet away. Right? right. It's like we can see the shit from from base camp. Right. We have golf carts that take us to and from set. Mm-hmm. But I got my girl. He's got a brand new Beamer. We're driving. Like of course. <laughs> yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, yeah, yeah. We're driving from literally. <laughs> like, <laughs> some, uh, some yeah. 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 Like, like, oh yeah. We got. Oh, you need me on set. Right, he literally just that with his R8 from yeah. stage one to stage four. I was like, <laughs> I'm like Mike. It's ten feet. I was like, well, let's hop in. Yeah. You got the new whip. It's like, fuck yeah. that shit. I'm driving. Yeah. Like, so, bro, swear to God, we're, we're driving, right? And he just he just revs it up next to me like, mm, mm, mm. so I'm like, all right. Now, grant you, this is the funny part. I'm not even in a sports car at this point. I'm like, I'm in, like, my mom's Lexus. You feel me? Like, dead ass. Like, yeah. not even, I cannot compete at all. Right. But I'm like, fuck yeah, it, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it. Mm, so I mash the gas. He mashes the gas. Grant you, they're filming, right? So oh the fucking God. red lights on, yeah. all this shit. They're filming up there. And so we're racing, right? I, like, my girls in the car, it's like, slow down, slow down. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, let me chill. So I slow down. I go whip it back. I'm going back up. He goes, Matt, I love you. He starts hitting donuts, right? <laughs> <laughs> Production's literally filming, like, what the fuck is that? Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> All of a sudden, he fucking loses this shit coming around a corner. Boom! <laughs> smashes his brand new BMW, oh totals it. So on set is on crazy, set, bro. And then, like for sure, there's like it's an archive footage somewhere where they got the audio in there, guaranteed, because they were filming an actual scene. And the funny part is, Aaron, it was one of the scenes in the third or fourth season where she's like looking out in binoculars trying to see someone. Right. And she literally watches him crash. Like, like, and she's like, I think that's Matt. <laughs> the whole production stops. Everyone runs down to go help him, totals the car. Damn, like, not the new beamer. He had it for like two weeks or like a week. Not or the some new shit. beamer. Has anyone told that story before? No, that was, that was the first time. You heard it here first oh on the crew. Had it. We be getting the, the news. The we get the scoop. Yeah, yeah we get the That's scoop. crazy. So, yeah. so when you guys went back for the reunion and then Zoe 102, what what was that like? Like when you got the call, were you like, hell yeah? Were you a little hesitant or? No, it was amazing, bro. I was I was so excited just because it just it was what I know everyone wanted to see. And you know, too, being you know like you guys, right? You guys are on one of the top shows in the world, but you will never understand how fans perceive the show or how bad they want like if right. the show ever ends how bad they're gonna want what happened right. to this person right. what happened to this so you know I think um, being a student and being a fan of the craft as well as being a part of it mm-hmm. makes it where it's like you know you want to give people that you know what I mean it's like you know like one of like some of my favorite shows are like Fresh Prince of Bel-Air or like Martin you know what I mean right. like if I heard Martin Lawrence is about to do uh, bring Martin Lawrence back like I'm like hey, we yo that. like <laughs> I gotta watch this you yeah. know what I'm saying so when you kind of when you you know when you're a fan of other people's shows and other people's movies for sure you know it's it feels good to be able to give someone something back when they want it right you know because a lot of shows you know I was fortunate enough to where I was on a show that people want to see the shit still you know what I mean because right. there's a lot of television shows I mean you guys can attest to it there's a lot of TV shows that are on the air right now but yeah. how many people want to watch well, them watch yeah. 10 years down the line or who who's going to want to know the backstory on some shit when it ends yeah. you know what I mean you guys are going to have a show where no matter what people are going to always want more yeah you know sure. and and it's a blessing that you have to kind of like you know you wear it with the with the badge of honor it's like right. you know yeah, yeah, yeah. I got I got lucky yeah for real. you know because for there's real. a Bunch of shows that 
Could you know, they did seasons. good, you know, but yeah. people are like, oh, that was cool and lasted, and right. you know, I don't really care yeah. what happened after that. Shit yeah. like this be like a once-in-a-lifetime type thing. Oh, yeah. for sure, yeah. Yeah. for sure. Yeah. But that's the cards you were dealt. Yeah. yeah. You feel me? It's yeah. like, yeah. Gotta use them the right gotta, way, man. Yeah, you yeah. know what I yeah. mean? You gotta play them right. right. So what What were some stuff that you read? These are all just quite. I don't, honestly, crew has it. I love you guys. These are from me. I'm just like, these are from me. What are other stuff you auditioned for? Or on Disney or Nickelodeon or other stuff that um that you didn't get but like was like oh I like did you read for for um Corey Baxter too? No, I didn't read for Corey Baxter, but I definitely read for a lot of shit that I wanted yeah. that I did not get. Yeah, I mean, and us that too. Was, like, yeah, you know like how that, that shit goes. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. I was just like curious that. if there's like any what ifs of like, oh, th like I read for this, so I could have not have been on Zoe. I could have been this guy on this show. Like, well, there was um. Let's see. There was Big Mama's House. Uh huh. Yeah. I read for the Sun on there. Um, uh, ooh, uh, no, not, not Enemy of the State. Uh, yeah, was it Enemy of the State with Will Smith? Yeah, Enemy of the State, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Enemy of the State. I yeah. read for that. Um, like those were the ones where I was kind of like, damn. And then, um, honestly. I haven't read for Power yet, so what the fuck's up with yeah. that? <laughs> well, yeah. you're on BMF, so now you can't. Oh! <laughs> Is there any? Oh, no, Lala was on nah, Power nah, he and BMF. He could do it. He could yeah. do it. He could do it. Yeah, y'all yeah. gotta uh, put in a good word nah, for me. Yeah, because it's not do. a book. That'd be yeah. fire. Yeah, That'd be hard. Yeah, I can yeah, catch a body with you or something. That'd be hard. Yeah. That'd be lit. Let's get it. He's <laughs> out <laughs> of my back. I'm my nigga braided, man. <laughs> He'd be like, yo, handle my small work. Man. Yeah, man. Listen, man. I gotta, I gotta go pick up something, man. This nigga gotta go, though. He gotta go, though. He got it, though. Take care of that real quick. Um. So, and so what about, like, I'm curious about Orlando because like okay. he's like he's like wilding out like right now like was he like that when he was younger or like did it just become with age where he's just like now he's just doing what the fuck he wants so you know you're around it yeah uh, we, yeah we fucking definitely around it yeah. uh, and I you don't have to say anything that you don't want to say we could cut whatever I just want you to like no, I'm curious it's, because, no it's fine because yeah. you know like I do I actually I'm kind of glad you said that because I do want to kind of put sure. it in uh, perspective for it a little bit right so <clears throat> um Clearly, you know, we grew up with him. Right. right. So someone that we've known for a long time. And I feel like, for me, it's always tough to watch certain stuff play out and, you know, stuff like that. Because, like I said, I, like we were talking about earlier, like, this is like a fraternity, yeah, right? Right. Like, of, like, actors and, like, child actors or whoever. You know, you kind of have a brotherhood of, like, damn, like, you know, mm. you want to, you, you don't want to see someone that you looked up to, right. you know, doing certain stuff or being in certain situations. Um... And, uh, and he knows, like, I, I'll reach out to him when I can. And, you know, it's, um, <clears throat> the thing is, is, you know, when people dabble in different stuff right. and, like, extracurricular activities and, like, drugs, you know, certain stuff happens. And I think with him was, I think he's just, like, he's he's always been funny as fuck. Right. Like, no For matter sure. what. Like, I don't care. Like, and, and the man has a catalog. Right. You know what I mean? Like, that's what people are feeling. Talented around. motherfucker. From, For like, sure. I mean, people forget, like, he was in Jamie Foxx show mm -hmm. to Family Matters to... Eddie's Million Dollar Cook-Off. Eddie's Million Dollar Cook-Off. I mean, Cook-Off to That's a Raven to... Like, anything you can think of, Orlando was on. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, um, yeah. and I think, you know, it's just about surrounding yourself with good right people, people right. and right people. You know, I think that was um, that was probably what kind of happened the most there was right. just being around certain people who didn't have his best interest at heart. Right. You Maybe. know, and, and, you know, and that happens right. with certain people. I mean, like, even, you know, um, I was watching a thing with DMX where he was saying, like, somebody that he looked up to that he really cared about laced, right. you know, laced him mm -hmm. with some shit that he was like, I don't fuck with this. Right. You know what I mean? So, you know, I'm not saying that that's the same situation here, but what right. I'm saying is, you know, your company you keep could either build you up or tear you down. Yeah. Right, for sure. You know, so you, you and, and with that, you know, I always send him a bunch of love. I, he did an interview with Vlad where he was just like, yeah. he said something and he was like, <laughs> Vlad asked him like, does anybody check up on you? He's like, don't nobody check up on me but Chris Massey. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I was like, right on. Because <laughs> you know I mean? I'm like, because, you know, it's like, no, it's like no matter what, 
And, you know, when, you, when you've been around someone and you know, like, damn, what the person's capable of, and, you know, it's like, you know, you look at it and you go, fuck, I, I hate this for this person. Right. And, you know, that's why it's, it's so tough for me, like, when people will send me, like, a fuck, because I get them all day. Mm -hmm. Like, people send me a meme of, like, him saying some shit, and I'm like, he's still being funny as fuck, but I can't, like, right. you know yeah. what I mean? Like, I don't want to laugh at it. I want to laugh yeah. with him. Yeah. You know what I'm right. saying? Bro, he, he was it very, I mean, he still is talented, yeah. but it's just, like, it's a different path. Like, and sometimes yeah. when you go through stuff, the studio's like, ah, we don't want to, we don't want to touch it. It's, yeah, it's but tough. you know what, though? It's like, one, I think he's one of those people where, like, if he had the right production team that was just like, look, we can handle him. Like, right. just let us do what we gotta do. But right. like, I don't, like, I don't like, like, I don't like the thing he's doing right now with the bad boys thing or whatever that. I don't like that because yeah. that's like different. But he's talented in a For sure. real actor way. For sure. Like, you know what I mean? Where he could just be funny as fuck, yeah. just saying anything. What is the bad boy yeah. shit that he's doing? It's right. a, it's like a reality yeah, show uh, vibe. Yeah. It's not. I don't. I don't. I've never seen it, but right. I don't. I don't like that show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so just see clips. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So right now, um, like, what's? Do you still absolutely love acting as much as you did before? Or are you kind of you know switching it up? Maybe like, cause I know you do music. Like, is there yeah. other stuff you're you're doing? <clears throat> yeah. So the music, it was like I definitely took a lot of time away from acting to to do music. Right. Mm -hmm. And then. You know, I realized, like, most people in music, like, this shit don't pay shit. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, you know what? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go back to what I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And um, and it, it it was, it actually worked out better that way because, you know, I, I just uh, finished writing a script. Ooh, I, I didn't even, I forgot about that. But I, I definitely want to, like... Send it through. Send it through. Send that yeah. motherfucker it's, through. It's, yeah, it's, it's fire. Like, and it's, it's really dope. Um, but I, I've been writing, and then, um, you know, I just did... BMF, nice. you know, you well, got not uh, nice. You, you got <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, nice for you, but yeah, yeah, nice, nice for, you, nice for me. <laughs> yeah, but fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but you know, so it's like I, I, I love. I just love being like back in it more sure. so than like, you know. And and there was a the thing because a lot of people are like, oh, why don't you do this no more? Why don't you do this no more? And it was like I really like when I tell you my team, my mom, my parents, everyone's like, what the fuck are you doing? Right. Like. You're missing auditions, like you're not, like, because I was just, it, it was that age of like coming into like yourself, mm -hmm. you know, having your money, having your own decisions to make. And really, I've been doing music since I can remember. You know right. what I mean? I play saxophone, play the piano. Right. Um, you know, I got a studio. I had a studio in my house when I was like 13 that I nice. built myself, you know, or like, no, it's. 15, 16, that I built myself and I was recording stuff. And so for me, it was like I was so passionate about it mm -hmm. to where I would not let anyone tell me that I wasn't going to be fucking Michael Jackson right, you know, right, or right, some right, shit like right. that. Like I was like, nah, I'm about to make it in music. Like I did it in TV. I could do it in music. Right, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And then once you realize it's like, you know, I think that was another thing too, being around so many people in the industry and, you know, rubbing shoulders with everybody, being in the studio with everybody and, like, really high caliber, when I started to realize, like, shit, like, it's not all it, it's cracked up to be. Right. You know what I mean? Like, because music, I love making music. Like, no matter what, I'll always make music for the rest of my life just because that's what I like to do. Right. But the business side of it is it's nothing. Tough. Like, it's, it's, it's terrible. Monster. Yeah, it's terrible. Like, I mean, because you, you think about it. <clears throat> you can record every day, all day long, all year long. I have songs with certain artists that I won't mention, but that are very popular, that even the artist themselves loves the song. Like, I want this to be and on my next label, album. And, they, they, and the they, label's they, like, can't, nah. They can't clear it. We don't, wanna, we don't wanna do that one. We want you to do this one. He's like, I don't wanna do that song. I wanna do this one. Right. Nah, but we're not gonna, we're gonna just, we'll put it on ice for right now. And it's like, what is happening here? Yeah. But it's like, <laughs> you know, growing up in our industry of like, you know exactly how much you're getting paid. Right. <laughs> you know what time you got to be on set. Right, right. Like, you could go record an album, and they'd be like, oh, yeah, we're not putting that out. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. crazy. You know what I mean? Like, it, cause a whole 30 songs. Yeah, a whole th oh, shit, more than that, that some people. Yeah. Like, you know, but it's like, imagine, shit, if they filmed a whole season of Power and said, we're not putting it out, you still got paid. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm saying? True. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you, yo, yo check clear. Yeah, like, that is true. You like, shit, all right, y'all don't want to put it out, shit. Yeah. Cool. Like, yeah. <laughs> but I got my money. Yeah, <laughs> but crazy. it's it doesn't work that way in that field. And, and I think I had to, you know, just with everything, you just learn. You experience that shit. You experience it for yourself because people are, you know, my granddad used to be like, 
they don't make no money in, in music. Them rappers, them rappers don't have no money. And yeah. I used to be like, he just bought a Lambo, granddad. Yeah. Like, you know, and then you realize, like, you know, when you grow up and then you realize, like, nah, it's, it's you know, obviously there's, you know, exceptions to certain people. Right. I mean, we, we, we can't say, like, Drake don't have no money. Right, right, you know right, what I'm saying? Yeah, or like, right. you know, a future. Like, but it's just, when you go look at it on a, on a larger scale across the board, you know, it's kind of like, it's it's tricky out there. Right. Yeah, Meth came in here and even even was like, we didn't make the money that these motherfuckers, like, some of these Man. are making. It's and most like, of the guys and Meth now, was up there back then. Yeah. 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 And most of the guys now that are making it aren't making it for music. Right. They're making it from streaming right. or from sponsorships. sponsorships and right. they're, shit, they're Instagrams. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit, most right. of them yeah. are making it off just brand deals. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, it's fucking crazy. Well, plug everything you got coming out. I know you got Zoe 102 coming out. What's the date that drops? So Zoe 102 drops July 27th. Oh, that be coming yeah. soon. Yeah, yeah, it's coming soon, bro. That's why this was so dope because it's like it was right before. Perfect I don't know time. when you guys are gonna air it. This will probably be um, next week, probably. Yeah. yeah, next week. Yeah, Definitely. or we might hold it for one more week and put out put it out right before. We'll yeah, talk. The week, the yeah. week of your shit. Yeah, yeah, shit. It's all good, bro. Yeah, I mean, I want to say this too, man. To you guys, I want to give you guys your flowers right. um, for being like dope young people, man, who are really changing the game. Like, everywhere we go, I don't care who you are, there's not a person on earth that can say they went into a room and not heard or talked about power. <laughs> like, it's just what it is. Like, That's you know what I mean? Cool. And, like, for me, like, I'm honored that you guys wanted me here on the yeah, show, yeah. and, like, I love it. Love what y'all doing. Um, and I just want to say, man, thank you, bro. Well, thank, thank you, you bro. Now, sure, nah, I'm about yeah. to... Yeah. I'm about to give you your flowers because uh, I honestly, yeah, legitimately, sure. without that's so Raven, Sweet Liz, Zach and Cody, Zoe 101, I literally don't think I would be here right now. Damn. Because watching those shows, I'm like, once I realized that was a job, and I'm like, wait, yeah. these guys are actors and they get to do this mm -hmm. and have fun. Like, my main thing is, like, I don't do acting to be famous or, like, listen, yeah. I like the money, the money yeah. sounds. The money good. The money <laughs> <fun sound. laughs> but, but I do it because I literally get to go to work and have fun every yeah, day. Yep. And and when when you see the Disney Channel game stuff, I'm like, these they're just all playing games and like yeah. that's what made me want to be an actor. I'm like, this looks fun. Yeah, so nah, without should... you paving the way, I wouldn't be here. No, nah, no cap. Yeah. I, I I literally like before like even before the lady even came up to me, because like obviously like I never really like pursued acting yeah. until until the lady, you know, that mm -hmm. lady Gina came up to me and my mom's, but like I would see Nickelodeon. I would see Disney. I would see all this shit, like, like, like the world. And I'm like, yo, these kids having fun, bro. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to do this. Yeah. Like, I would love yeah. to be on Nickelodeon. Like, it would just be thoughts in my head. Like, I would never tell them, like, yo, mom, I want to be on Nickelodeon. But, like, in my head, I'm like, yo, damn, this would be yeah. lit to be on Nickelodeon. I'm yeah. trying to do this shit. Yeah. And then, like, then that happens. Obviously, it kind of kind of went in, like, a different... I'd never been on Nickelodeon or, or Disney. Like I said, I wanted to be before, but, like... You know that like, it's still you know like a full circle type moment. Like damn, I was really just like dreaming about this shit in my mind, like back in the days. And now yeah. we're here, and y'all really literally put that like in like to life for us. So and you know the cool I'm part too is like with y'all, man. You know sometimes you know obviously everyone's pur purpose and their their path is different. Mm -hmm. So it's like for me, it's it's cool when I hear you say that because for me, it was kind of like. It was kind of like the opposite sometimes, right? Where we had so much fun as a kid, don't get me wrong, filming all that shit and all right. that was amazing. But then it's like when you get older and then you're like, oh, I want to do I want to do this, I want to do that. And then certain people, like, that's, that's uh, you get kind of typecast, right? Right, for sure. So what happens is, like, that's what I've been on right now, which is why I was, like, doing, like, the BMF shit right. and doing this because I knew I'm like, okay, well, when the Zoe thing comes out, that's going to be cool. It's going to still kind of almost fall in that category a little bit, right. even though we're adults. But with the other side, I was trying to show like, yo, look, like this is what it is. Right, like, right, right. Yeah, I, it can go, it can go. I can make you laugh, I can make yeah. you all laugh. It can but, go here, but right. then it can also get grimy as fuck. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, yeah. because I want it, I want to show the diversity show now as, you know, because at the end of the day, it's a craft, right? So right. no matter what, the longer that you guys do this, you're only gonna get better. For sure. And you no wanna show nowhere. every side of that yeah. shit. Exactly. Like, yeah. wherever you are right now, you're gonna be 10 times better than that right. in, in four or five years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's you why know, I kind of like where the industry is going because, like, if you said 10 years ago, you said that this actor who's a lead of a television show or this and that has a YouTube channel, has a yeah. TikTok, has this and that, they'd be like, what? Like, no, they, they devise against it. Bro, listen mm -hmm. to me. I'm gonna tell you some real shit. One of the executives for Nickelodeon, I'll never forget it. I pulled up on him. Say his name. 
<laughs> I was, actually, I will say it. Justin Anthony. Uh -huh. Justin Anthony. Yeah. So I pulled up on him one day. I um I put a uh, I had a script together and this whole show idea, right? And I go up to him, I go, and we had a whole meeting at the MTV uh building in Santa Monica. Um, sat me down. I'm like, yo, listen, I got this great concept for this show. This is right after Zoe had ended. I'm like trying to like, you know, right. just get some shit going. For sure. And he's like, he sat me down and he goes, Chris, I'm gonna let you know. He says, this is a great idea, but you don't need to bring this to Nickelodeon. You need to go film this on the internet and put it out on the internet on like a YouTube or something. And I thought he was fucking hating on me. Mm. <laughs> like, oh, straight yeah. I thought you had beef with him. He no, gave no, no, me the no, right no, advice. No, no, he gave me the right advice, but yeah. I was like, I'm like, Word, that's I, how you feel about yeah, my like, not worth TV. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I bet. You know, because like when you're when you're that young, right. you're just like, yo, you're telling me to put this shit on the internet, like, right. what bro, the I gotta fuck? be on TV. Yeah, that's it's like, like bro, I just, <laughs> yeah, like, what are you talking about? So I, I would never forget. I left that meeting. And I'm just like, what? And like, I, 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 I threw the little pamphlet, like, fuck this. And then now, full circle. Everyone's making money on the internet. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that was right in that moment of like, because you gotta think, when I was on Zoe 101, we didn't have Instagram. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That shit, we got it. I think we got an Instagram the last season. You guys had had like 50 million followers. Oh, yeah. yeah. Easily would have, like, especially been. at the wow. prime of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But what? like, yeah. I think I, I started my Instagram. Matter of fact, my cast members are my first followers. Wow, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, wow. that's crazy. like when I go back on the little thing, it's yeah, like Aaron see. Sanders is like the first person I ever followed. Did, like, did they want to keep you in the system at some point or at some point you get a certain age, they're like, okay, like... Uh, I mean, it, it kind of like, it kind of varies. Like, I mean, you could always, then you could kind of, because we knew all the directors, the producers, so we could always just be like, hey, I, like, I heard you guys doing iCarly. Like, right. Let me pull up. You know what I mean? But Because I was supposed to direct, um, what was it, Henry Danger? Oh, I was cool. supposed to direct an yep. episode of Henry Danger, but that fell through. Oh, that was so sad. <laughs> yeah, that fell through. Do you like directing, though, or you, do you, do you, have you directed? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, directing is like, to me, I feel like I'm really... I want to do that. Like, the script that I'm talking about, I'm writing right yeah. now, like, that's what I want to do for that is yeah. direct it. Because, um, like, my brother just did a thing uh, where Kiki Palmer, her nice. new uh, uh, short film, mm -hmm. uh, Big Boss, yeah. that she did. She That was her first uh, directing job nice. that she did, and she wrote that as well. And um, I was actually writing this script before that came out, and then when we went to the premiere, and she said she wrote it and directed it, I was like, oh yeah. I went home and was like, yeah. I was like, yeah, that's the type of shit I need to be on right now, yeah. because it was just, it's one of those things that, like this movie that I'm writing, I feel like will change the game as far as like, I'll just give you a little, it's a horror film. Nice. Right? So it, it, it's like really cool because it, it's kind of like a, a movie where I think it'll go. Nice. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, yeah. and I'm, I'm excited about it because I wrote it, um, me and my cousin, actually. Uh, so like, <clears throat> my cousin's always been like A1. Shout out to Jonathan Moutre. Uh, <laughs> my cousin's always been A1, man. And like, I literally was like, yo, I'm writing the script. I was like, I want you to help me write it. Because he, he always has great ideas. Right. You know what I mean? And I never, you know, everything that I always work on, I'm very, like, this and that. And I, I literally would, like, call him, like, yo, pull up. We're about to write. He's like, right. I'm tired. I just got home from work. You want to make some money? Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Like, when yeah, we pull sell up. this movie, yeah. you're going to be like, fuck this job. Yeah, yeah pull up. <laughs> you yeah, feel yeah, me? Pull like, up and write. Yeah, he's like, all right, yeah, you're right. Yeah, pull up. Like, we're going to write. Man. You know what I mean? And, and I think, like, that's another thing that I'm, like, big on is also, like, uplifting the people around me. You know what I mean? Because I've done it all by myself and young and made the money and hung out with all the people that I wanted to hang out with right. and all that. And I think the cool part is being able to look back and saying, like, yo, like, we did this or I put this person in a position to do this. Right. And that never, you know, he never, he used to always say, man, I want to write a movie like this. I want to do it like this. And he would come up with these great ideas, bro. And I'd be like, bro, that was, that's fire. Right. That's fire. So I'm like, you know what, bro? Fuck this shit. We're going to sit down and we're going to write this shit. Right. Like, right. why are we going to, well, fuck these ideas. These yeah. ideas can just bounce off the walls all day long. But, put that bitch on paper. Put that shit on paper and now we got meetings. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so, you know, something I, I look forward to. And I, I hope it, you know, 
If y'all like it, man, y'all y'all send it through. Y'all got a spot. Y'all got a spot through, wherever man. you want. You got a spot in. Hell so, yeah, man. You know what I mean? Hell it's, yeah. It's nothing. Follow it. my boy Chris on Instagram. What, what's your what's your? It's a uh, Chris Massey TMB. And no, that's not a gang. It's the Massey Brothers. Oh fuck. I, I was young as fuck when I started that show. Some somebody people like, oh, you banging TMB? I was like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm banging that's a raven, my guy. Like, what are you I was like, about? nah, bro. Like, I don't know what that means, yeah, bro. Like, talking about yeah. TMB. Nice. <laughs> I'm being oh, PCA, my guy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, um, where's Twenty Two on Instagram? Michael Rainey Jr. on Instagram. Yes. Where's Twenty Two on YouTube? Go subscribe, my guy. Y'all was being consistent. We got three in a row. three in, three weeks in a row. Y'all was being consistent. <laughs> oh, oh, this is he forgot the oh, Polaroid. No, oh, 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 that's who they had the Polaroid. Yeah. yeah. Oh. You forgot the Polaroid. Oh, we all y'all. The fans ass. are gonna be pissed. <laughs> it happened last that last time. So that's, so that's on Yao. That's on y'all, guys. Yeah, that's on y'all. <laughs> look at Dave. Look at Dave. Yeah. <laughs> look at Dave. Uh, look at Dave. Why is Dave dressed like that? Anyways, Gianni V. Palo on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. I got vlogs coming out, too. Um, I got a couple out already, I think. I don't know. I can't keep up. Um, <laughs> Wait, let me ask you a question. Let me ask y'all a question before y'all leave. Yes, sir. What's your favorite episode of Power, and oh, what's shit. your favorite episode Ooh, of Power? My favorite episode of Power. Um... Well, let me ask this. What's your favorite one to film and then your favorite one that you like, I guess? Okay. It's crazy because I my, I would probably say my favorite scene in the film was probably like probably Raina's funeral because it was mm. so active that day, bro. We was in the um, we was in Harlem. We was filming in Harlem, right in the middle of Harlem. Crazy. That's fire. So 50's there. Everybody's there, bro. So we're all chilling. Like, we all have chairs in the, in the church, so yeah. we're chilling. And then, like, one minute, like, 50 just decides to just, like, get up, walk to the front of the church, and just go stand on the sidewalk in the middle of just Harlem. I don't even know what street we on. What street we on. It's so yeah. active. Bro, people from every direction on the street just start flocking. To, bro, Sabrina's panicking. She's like, oh, my God. <laughs> bro, it, see, that's, the, that's our, like, um, our PR lady. Like, yeah. she makes sure nobody gets pictures of, like, spoilers. She's yeah. fucking losing her mind. Everybody, <laughs> no, she can't go up to 50 and say, please yeah, go yeah, inside. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. insane. Everybody's like, yo, yo. Then I'm like, oh, shit, look at 50. I walk down, looking at everybody just bugging out. I'm, like, low-key. Then they see me, they're like, Oh, yeah. I'm like, damn, this is crazy. Damn, that's fine. really got them wilding. And it, like, I don't know what it was. That day was just like crazy yeah. energy. Some days like that, the low key days like be yeah. the most fun. That the was my favorite gonna, to film. The fans are gonna get pissed. Mine's 401. Mine's oh, the, 401? Next, the next episode that happens after the finale. Mm. Dude, we that yeah, episode Ghost was Ghost 401 sick. is crazy. Yeah. Ghost 401. So Ghost 401. Time. I'll say my favorite to film. I mean, my least favorite to film, but my favorite to watch was um. Like uh, Kanan's death, yeah. that was crazy. Mm, that was yeah. one of my favorites to watch. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. but it was my least favorite to film. It was so cold that day, <laughs> raining, wind. Oh, it yeah. was freezing, bro. That's Fifty was sick as hell after that day. Fifty yeah. was dumb sick after. Yo, that. so how many people come up to you to talk about how you killed your pops? Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, if I had a dollar for that, for that, bro, I would be so rich. I would not even need to be on power, bro. I would be out of here. Yeah. It's crazy. I'd be like, bro, they made me do it. I, I didn't want to do it, y'all. They made me do this. I'm sorry. That's crazy. Because <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember Paige posted some shit one time where everybody's like, call her a rat or some shit. Oh, yeah. Like, nah, it get like I'm that. I'm like, yo, they be bucking It get like crazy. that. Fans are nuts. It get like that, man. Like, it's like, yo, y'all know this is a show, yeah. right? Like, yeah. like what's yeah. happening? We just doing our job. Yeah. We just doing our job. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, I don't know. There's some there's some fire. I like 50 directed an episode in, in mm. Power Season 6. That was crazy. Yeah, that was like, fun. That was fun. There's just been so many moments that, like, obviously he's had six more seasons of moments than I had or five more seasons of moments, but, like... Yeah, so how, how many seasons have you done? I did six of Power, and now we doing... This is... Four of ghosts. Yeah, so ten. Ten. that yeah. boy ten That's years funny. in. What's up playing with that boy? Boy <laughs> said ten seasons. What's up playing with you? It's crazy, bro. So where you at? Like what six? Uh, I I did uh, season five, uh, one episode, and then season six of Power, and then um, four seasons of Ghosts. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, damn, damn, man. Time really be flying. I know. Bro. Well, well, that's why we needed Chris Massey this episode because we needed to fucking <laughs> we needed to enjoy it. I needed to hear this today. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. I was telling him I met him <clears throat> at Paige's first. Ep you were there too, I believe, right? Were you there? 
I don't know if Paige did like a viewing for uh for for, for her, her first episode, episode for Ghost for Ghost in New York. Crib. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. At that rooftop. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you were there. I was there, yeah, bro. There, I flew in oh, that day. I left because yep. my little brother threw oh, up. Oh yes, yes, that was the thing, <laughs> bro. Yo, I remember hearing about bro, that. Bro, we gotta show you the video after this, bro. I'm about to show you this video. I might even post it on the crew has it because fuck my little brother, he ruined it, bro. My first lead of like like I'm a fucking like series regular like like this is good. Party, he's feeling yeah. cool. This isn't no recurring shit. I'm like, I'm a fucking serious regular. It's me and Mike. I'm like, yes. Bro, you hear, they say this is a big rich. I'm like this. My little brother is hammered. He throws up <laughs> all over pages, like right outside the door of yeah, her thing. See, that's what I remember. Because when I got there, everyone was talking about like, yeah, shit just went down. Bro, I'm like, I what? Was it mopping, was I was mopping his Amazing. throw up. And, bro, and the video, big rich town is playing. He's like, he's like bro, I'm sorry. I'm so yeah, he's, he's like, I'm a fuck up. Man, this throw up all over him, and he's like this. Bro, I'm like, bro, show the video, bro. Um, I'll show you the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. posting that on Korea. Yeah, fuck him. I was there, bro. Yeah, because yeah, I remember I, I met him first time, and I was like, oh man, congrats on all your shit. And like, because I was paying, because she was like, I'm doing the premiere da -da, in New York. I said, fuck it, I'm gonna fly up there. Yeah. And I flew up yeah. just for that. Yeah. Came in that for the day. Lit, I think yeah. I stayed for like two days or something. And then, yeah, and then I left. And then that was my first time meeting him. And I I think, that's why I was like, I thought you were there because I remember she I was probably the there for a split second. But yeah, yeah. You were, I think you were definitely gone by the time I got there because I remember her <laughs> saying like, shit, we're right yeah, before you got God, I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> um, but yeah, bro, thank you so much for coming on. We appreciate it. I'm Hell so excited yeah. to see Zoe 102. I can't wait. Yes. Um, thank you for pulling up. Up on the boys, we man, appreciate thank it. Thank you guys, man. Of course. Love y'all boys, appreciate man. Appreciate you, it, man. Mike, give us one. Listen, man, the crew has it, baby. We have my boy Chris Massey in the building. Yes, sir. The crew has it and you have it. Thank you so much. And make sure y'all check out my album too. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna yeah. drop that shit. Yeah. <laughs> when are you dropping it? When are you dropping it? I'm gonna drop it probably like the week before. Or no, no, no. I'm gonna probably drop it like the day before or the day after the movie come out. Yeah, oh, yeah, good, yeah. good time. Just to yeah, be yeah, like, yeah. you know what I yeah. mean? Give y'all yeah, yeah, something yeah. like, you know what I mean? It's fun. Yeah, yeah, fun vibes. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Look out for that. Thank you so much, Chris. We appreciate it. Sir, y'all too, man. Sorry we had the Polaroid. Yeah, fuck Yow, Yow's here, so we don't get... Fuck off, Yow. Let's go fuck him up.